like you, you know, I've, I've learned that God is keenly and acutely aware of what we are going through, um, that he has suffered for every heartache and pain that we have ever gone through. And I think a really valuable lesson for me, especially after Emily passed away, was, you know, I was searching for this, this healing and this experience just to kind of take all of that, that pain away. And, and, and in my mind, I wanted it to come in a certain way. And I remember reading um, in Alma where it talks about all that the Savior suffered for us. And it lists all of those things, right? The temptations and the heartaches and the pain and sufferings that we go through. And then at the end of that scripture, it says, And all this, that he may know how to succor his people according to his will, right? And, and in that moment, I realized that, that, you know, aside from all of the great things that we have in, in this day as far as therapy and, and medications and other forms of, of getting help, um, our Savior is the master healer. He created us, and He knows how to succor us and heal us. It may not always be in the way that we want it to, and I think that that's what's hard, especially when we're in the middle of the struggle because we want that pain to be over and we want to move on to the next step. But our Savior knows his plan for us and he knows what we're capable of bearing and he knows what we can become. And so he has catered a plan for us. And if we, if we have faith in him and if we're patient with that process that he has designed for us, then we become something better and stronger according to his will and his plan and we become something better than what we had in mind for ourselves.